I've got a nice piece of maple here that I'm going to turn a bowl out of. And I'm going to do that by mounting a faceplate to it. Now that has a couple of ramifications. If I put my faceplate on here and I drive screws through the faceplate into the bowl, of course when the bowl is done, I'm going to have screw marks in the bottom of it. That's no good. Additionally, those screws penetrating through the back of the blank limit how deeply I can cut really want my chisel to cut wood. I don't want it to cut screws. So I got to have a different method here. I got to have an alternative technique. One I like to use a lot is to use a dummy board and a paper joint. So this is pretty cool. Paper joints are not only for bowl turning. There's a lot of different applications in woodworking where you can use them. The bottom line is that the paper being in the joint allows you to separate it later. So I've done a couple things here to get ready. I found the center of this blank then I dimpled the center with a scratch all, so it's got a distinct center point. Now on my dummy board, when I cut those, a center point is left here in this disc, so I drove a nail through. So the nail is sticking out the back side just a little bit. I'm going to eventually want to engage that nail into that hole. That's why it's projected out like that. That's about all it takes to get ready. The dummy boards could be cut from anything. This is cut from some scrap plywood that I had. So now, we glue this surface. And glue this surface. The paper is absolutely low tech. This is just cut out of a brown paper grocery bag. You do want to use paper that's porous, not shiny. So like a printed page out of a magazine wouldn't work very well for this because that would prevent the glue from soaking into the paper. We need something porous. Now that nail found the center of my blank so that's all set to go. All I need to do is clamp it. Anytime you're gluing something up for lathe turning your best bet is to leave that sit overnight so the glue has a good chance to cure. The last thing we want is for this to separate while we're working on it. That's all set. 